First, though, did you know that every day 100,000 people see their GP about musculoskeletal problems? Most commonly, lower back pain. And if you're one of the many who are blighted by the aches that inevitably seem to come with age, we're getting advice from an osteopath who might just have some solutions. Please welcome Darren Chandler. <laughs> It's a huge amount of folk. It is. What's the commonest problem then? The commonest problem, well, I'm sure a lot of people here in the audience and watching at home, whenever you've gone to get your back pain looked at, you're always diagnosed with a muscular problem. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's not the actual case or cause of lower back pain. What you'll see briefly here is this is a replica of a spine. And in between each bone, you'll see a cartilaginous disc. Is that it, this sort of gristly bit? It is, the little gristly bit there. And it acts as a sponge, if you like, if not a shock absorber. So our day-to-day -day activity, sitting, bending, lifting, etc., etc., over weeks, months and years, mm. that will start to degenerate the disc itself. Well, how can we stop it then? How can we alleviate it? How can we alleviate I need it? it? Right. Hang up your spine. What we can do, there are various little products on the market that we can look at. Again, you've got the, the balloon here I've brought today just to actually demonstrate that when you're standing up, the weight is actually distributed evenly on your discs. Stand straight on. When you sit down, you'll notice that as I press, you'll start to get a slight bulging of the disc. When you bend forward, you'll get an anterior compression there, which then causes the disc to bulge back. So every time we bend forward, there's potential that the disc may go back. So this is why you should always slip. bend your knees when you lift Exactly. Them. So you yep. always want to spread the load and open the legs and have a neutral spine when going down. And when we lean backwards, you'll see that you actually get an anterior push forward of the disc, so potentially again for disc to actually so rupture. So you're going to show us how we can... You, you brought this along, which yes, is rather intriguing. this is called a saddle seat, or it's actually... Its real name is called the human tool. Pardon? The human tool. <laughs> I didn't and, say anything. And what a, what a saddle seat will generally do is, when you sit in a conventional Ooh. chair, when you sit down, the actual weight is actually located in the central aspect of the spine. When you sit on one of these kind of saddles, what happens is the angle of your hips actually open, which then means that you spread it, it, the load true, actually, onto it. the thigh, yeah, pushing me around. and it goes down into the feet. And the main thing with these kind of things are is that it, it, it sort of encompasses active sitting. So you're not actually just sitting there sedentary, your body is constantly having to adjust. I can, feel, I can feel that I'm not slouching, I'm not slumped. My muscles exactly. in my stomach exactly. are having to so work So your to core keep muscles, level. the core stability, will constantly be firing, and if you've got a good central core, you'll always have a very good central, sort of strong, strong well, back, if you like, in the, the back. Balls I've seen before, so these use, but not yes. in a sort of frame like so this. So this is a Swiss ball, and it looks like a little modification here. Whoop. So what we've done... <laughs> yeah, right, I don't want you rolling no, anywhere. Fine. It's exciting. Um, so this has obviously been designed so that you can use this in the office against the desk. Um, again, it promotes mm. active sitting. So mm. the, the more pumped up the ball is, the more destabilisation you're going to get, the more you're going to have to can focus you not on get the core. Can back fatigue, though, from this happening? You can initially. If you're doing sort of... If you've gone from nothing and then going on to one to of these for the, the first time. time, you may only get around about five to ten minutes of use, and then you'll start to find that the back might to ache, start to ache, or the actual tummy might start to so feel a little bit So just build up gradually... Very, very slowly, graduation, one. yes. 100%. Right. Tensing your so cock. Now, pretty good. What, yes. what, what have we got here? Now, this is called an Hello. inversion table. <laughs> oh, and it's called an inversion table. You know what's going to happen to you? Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to But you're up. sort of strapped in there. Yes, you're strapped in. Now, the reason these were made were for people who suffered with slip discs, prolapse discs. And the theory is behind it is that, obviously, when we're standing, sitting, we compress our spine. If we can turn the patient upside down... Are you comfortable? By you're right. doing this, you're actually taking the load into the opposite direction. And by Ooh, taking it into the opposite direction, <laughs> it takes the pressure off the but actual squash when you, when you go back, Just go back again. How long in that position do you have to stay there? You'd be looking at around about 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> 10 to 15... I'm going to get you out of the way in the adverts, all right? <laughs> <laughs> OK, you'll be fine. Just and most sister. people will find that if they do suffer with sciatica or a squashed nerve root, they'll find that this is it's, it's quite enjoyable for the time that they're on it but it can be a short-term effect and the only downside to these kind of things is if you're suffering with any eye, eye abnormalities such as glaucoma uh, detached retina hiatus hernia where you get reflux have you got a hiatus hernia <laughs> <laughs> have you got yeah. any eye problems luckily not not
not. Could no. be staying there, then. But if you're healthy, you're fine. Absolutely fine. But it's a good piece of kit. Oh, she's, used for the right. she's hanging on now. <laughs> right, OK. Now, on the bed, I'll let you come down. Cause you're going, what, are you, what are you complaining about? It sounds like he's in pain. It really hurts. It's lovely. What's, yeah. what's happening to you? It's basically rolling my spine, and it's, and it's really good. But I think a little bit of weed's come out. <laughs> That's so gross. Oh. It's not a good job now. Oh, right, this is our warm-up man for those of you who don't, we don't see. Yeah, so this, it's fine. this here is a very good piece of equipment. It's a professional Peter kit. It's called the Mobilizer, and what this tends to do, it's a full-body massaging bed. Oh, I can so see it's it so rolling down. It works the back. Yeah. But it does what it says on the tin. It mobilizes your joints, and in particular your thoracic spine. So this part of your spine here in the middle. When you're laying down, we can become quite kyphotic and rounded when sitting at desks all day and as we slightly get older. So when you lay on this, it actually takes you from this position and it pushes you forward so it actually improves pushing the so spine. So can you, can you feel that it's extension. moving things that don't normally move? Well, I was five foot four when I lay down. I'm now six foot seven, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but again, you're enjoying it. All these things presumably to be used with caution. Exactly. And to be, to be built up exactly. slowly. Not right? one thing generally does, yeah. you know, the right thing for everything. So I was just going to give a little bit of advice and a couple of little stretches. Come and give us a couple of little stretches. stretches. Yes. So one thing I think is worth noting. Every patient you see, the first question they say is, I'm in dreadful pain, what shall I do? Shall I do ice or shall I do heat? If you get the pain, you know, you wake up with it, you've never had it before, or you bend to pick something up and you're in this state, you can't move, you have to put ice on. Ice needs to go on for around about 10 minute intervals. So 10 yeah. minutes on, 10 minutes off. And you need to do that every few hours for around about 48 hours Ooh, in total. Right, two days to eat. Two days of time. ice, because you need to reduce the inflammation. Exercises that we can do? Exercises. If you've had, long if you've had pain for, say, six months or more, mm. and it's only in your lower back, then it's worth just lying on your back bringing one leg up into your chest and just holding it there for around about 30 seconds then the opposite and then gently both legs together a lot yeah. of patients tend to lift their head and they want to try and get as much stretch oh. as they can but lifting the head is not a good idea so just gently head down and pull your knees side. up exactly and the last exercise that's worth doing, I don't know if we have a cushion, do we? No. No cushions. OK. <laughs> what you would normally do, if you're suffering with back pain and sciatica, is to get two pillows, place them under your side here, and then as you lay down, that will create an arch in your spine. If you take your top leg straight... Look at this. Pillow straight away. There come you are. Out and over. So down there. Look at that. In Brilliant. the middle. Yep. So we lay in this position. Yep. What this will do is open up the spine on the side that you have the sciatica on, and and if you place the top leg straight with the pain in the leg and you take your arm over the top like so and lay like this for around about five minutes, what this will do is the, it will take the disc, Wonderful. the prolapse disc and the squash nerve. Brilliant. Thank you, Dan. Tension. So I yeah, hope you recorded this programme because then you can actually go back and check that you're doing the right thing. There we hope go. that's given you something to think about. Details of all this equipment but if, um, but if you're on our website. But if you have back pain or a related problem, please remember to go to your GP if you have any questions at all about health issues. My thanks to Darren Chandler. Thank you, Darren. Thank you very much. Go on. Still to come, we're taking retro and talking retro musicals with Suzanne Shaw. Plus, find out who's out of their depth in this week's Under the Sea-themed Big Bake Showdown. Back in a moment.